Oren, when this happened in April, the U.S. was able to, to kind of tell Netanyahu and the Israelis to take the win based on what Iran's response had been and that it hadn't actually, they were not really that successful with their, the 300 missiles or some that they fired that day. What's the sense tonight of how much, how much influence the U.S. has on what Israel does next here? From this perspective, the attacks are viewed as substantively different. April 13th was a mixture of drones and ballistic missiles, more drones, and that's what makes this uh, attack much more powerful, even though there was a smaller number here, uh, only 180 ballistic missiles, but they are far more powerful than the drones that were launched back in April. There, it seemed Iran was more sending a message that they were willing to attack Israel. You're right that most of that was intercepted, and President Biden pushed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to to take the win, essentially, to say, look, the attack didn't do much damage. Israel had a limited response in Iran that was much the same way. It was essentially sending a message to Iran that Israel could strike sovereign Iran if it wanted to. Now, this attack, much larger, and the expectation is that Israel will carry out a much larger response, and we've certainly already seen that threat coming from Netanyahu, from the IDF, and from others. So the expectation is that this one will be bigger. Israel showed in April that it could attack Iran. Now the question, will they go after Iranian uh, nuclear facilities? Will they go after Iran's oil and natural gas? That's essentially the lifeblood of Iran's economy right now. So the question, what will they do? President Biden huddled with his top aides to try to get a better sense of, of what the possibilities might look like and how they will play out, not just Israel's response, but how Iran might retaliate for that. So very complex discussions to try to figure out how this goes. The U.S. has made clear they want to talk to Israel about uh, uh, what this might look like over the course of the next several days. So likely those conversations are already happening, but it's a question of, of when and how big does Israel go here and, and what role will the U.S. play in, in that response, if any. The U.S. making it clear that they will back Israel when it comes to air defense, but, but offensive, that's a whole different question.